some great tips right there. <laughs> well, my next guest, they are here. They're going to talk all about self-defense and how to empower you in the event that you are face to face with some danger or if there is a attacker around. So I want to welcome Maverick Training. Thank you all for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this. Why is it important to actually know and have some self-defense skills? It's just the confidence you get knowing that if something were to happen, you could handle yourself. Like you don't want that type, not going out like seeking it, but just the confidence thing gives people, people come in the gym, you see a lot of kids and stuff, they just get that confidence just knowing like if something were to happen, I could probably handle myself. That, that's what we want. I love that. And talk to me a little bit more about your experience because you both are black belts, I understand, yes. in jujitsu. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So how did this start? Um, so our mom actually started training when we were kids. And so we've been training pretty much our entire lives. He's 31, I'm 27 now. So we've been, we've grown up in the gym, we've grown up training, and then now we're able to teach other people now that we're adults. I love so, that. And of speaking of teaching, you all are going to show us some moves and you two at home. So I'm going to go ahead and get some help. So come on, Amber, because we're going to learn a couple of moves. So you all are going to show us the first. <laughs> so show us the first self-defense move that we should know. So most important thing just in general always is just to make sure that you're standing in what we just call base. Okay. Which just means we're not standing with our feet together, we're standing with our feet apart so we can pretty comfortably lean weight either side. If my feet are together then I'm going to be pretty off balance if something were to happen to me. Right. So I want to make sure that my feet are in base. I'm going to have what's called a staggered stance which just means I have one leg in front. Generally you want your stronger side behind you. Okay. And then I always want my hands up. So if we're mm. in like a like an actual stance, I want to make sure that my my hands yeah. are not only able to defend myself with my shields, but if I need to throw back, I also have my hands right here, so I'm able to either punch. Can you or work on her stance elbow. real quick? <laughs> okay, okay. She's like, ah. yeah, pull your right arm back just a little bit. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Yeah, you want your hands yeah. in front of your head. That way, they're blocking just in case anything's flying at you, and then your hands are also readily yeah. available to punch <laughs> or to elbow. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Um, in self-defense situations and just in fights in general, you wind up a little bit closer than maybe you would yeah. think. Mm -hmm. A lot of fights do wind up on the ground, you wind up a little bit closer. So first thing we're gonna go over is actually elbows instead okay. of punching. Yeah. So we have these pads over here. Yeah, I'll put those on. There you go. A lot of times um, punching with your hands, we, when you don't have any protection on, like the gloves or the wraps that we wear when we train, um, you can actually hurt your hands pretty bad when you're hitting something mm. oh, hard. Oh, your knuckles. That. Skull's pretty hard. Yeah, skull's pretty hard. <laughs> so, so using the elbows here is a, it's a much denser bone than your knuckles. So instead of punching here, you get in a little bit closer Ooh, and you elbow oh yeah. like okay. that. So <laughs> elbow across the face, yeah. <laughs> generally it, it works pretty well. So that's just, I'm in my stance here. My elbow is going to essentially chicken wing up and then I want to drag it diagonally across the pad as I turn my whole body, just like this. Why are we going so slow? I'm going slow. You, you do 100% hit this with your elbow. Yeah, hit that with your elbow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I just go like right across the nose. There we go. Yeah. Come on, Amber. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Can I just tell you, she has been waiting all day to do I'm this. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> and the last move you're going to show us, you said, is a kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, kicks, uh, so we do Muay Thai and a big part of Muay Thai is kicks. And then we have Mr. Dawson over here okay. who trains Muay Thai with us. He's usually behind the scenes, but today <laughs> he does Muay Thai in the occasional Jiu Jitsu class. All right. But um, we're going to go over what is called a low kick because it's kicking him lower on the body right here. And this hurts pretty bad. Your shin, especially when you train, the bone gets denser. And so it's like swinging a baseball bat right on his thigh. So we'll, we'll do this Somewhat delicately, but yeah, we have control. to show the <laughs> we have to show the effect, of course. Okay. So, so I want to be in my stance. I want to step off to the side, and I essentially want to aim the middle of my shin, where you get like a Charlie horse in your thigh. Okay. Right? So I'm going to swing my leg over, Ooh. and then kick right on the side, right on the side of his leg. And the more you aim with your shin instead of your foot, the harder it is. So if anyone wants to, yeah. yes, up, Amber, awesome. I got this. If anyone wants, <laughs> let me move out the way because yeah, I feel like stuff, that kick. Make sure your your toes point sideways so that we don't like tweak your own knee. Throwing so your toes point out and then shin bone right in the meat of the thigh. Right in the middle All of the shin. All right. Yeah, Think turn. about everything he did to you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do it one more time? It helps if you, if you walk into it. Instead of setting your foot yeah. there and then going, take a, take step. a step and walk into it. It like kind of like, builds some like momentum. Step and pass them. You walk into it. Yeah, Woo! Get some more into it. I love it. I love it. Are you okay? First, let's check on you. Are you all right, Dawson? Thumbs He's up. Fine. He's fine. <laughs> all right. Well, where can people go to find out more information? So, social media is just Maverick Training Center. We also have a website, just mavericktraining.net. We're located 
right in the middle of downtown as well, like center Huntsville. So yeah. no, there's our website right and there. there's our <laughs> website right there. Well, I want to thank you all for coming on and showing us some good moves. Amber, quick test. Do the second one. Do the elbow. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. Yeah. That was great, Amber. Thank you all for coming on again. Of course, thank you. And make sure you stay with us. We have more after the break.